Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got my passion twist. You guys have been asking me so many questions about my hair. Where's the hair from? How did I do it? It's so cute. It's so cute. Did I film a tutorial? And here I am. So if you guys want to see how I got these passion twists, these short passion twists that are really juicy and just like giving you life, then stay tuned, stick around. But before you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and let's hop into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to use some Hicks Edge Control. We're going to use this around the parting of our hair. And then I'm going to go in with some 24-hour edge tamer to help twist down my hair so my hair stays in the twist. We're going to use some rubber bands because we're going to use these for the parting so my parts can stay clean and neat. We're also going to be using some foam wrapping lotion and I'll use this to kind of keep everything in place. We're going to use some wet line gel because I need this for my edges and it's amazing. I love it. An oil of your choice to put on the rubber bands to saturate them so they don't pull your hair. A crochet needle and this is essential because we are doing the rubber band method and we need this to go to get the hair through. This is the brand of hair that I use. You guys had a ton of questions on what hair did I use, where is it from, can I link it in the video. So this is the hair that I use. It's the water wave braiding hair. Um, this company is called Zuri and I love this. It's 20 inches and each pack comes with three bundles in a pack. So instead of buying it per pack from Free Trust, I buy this one and if it takes me six packs of hair, then I just buy two packs and it's only $10.99 opposed to buying each individual pack and you get a lot of hair. So I'm not going to leave this 20 inches as well. Then I'm going to take some rubber bands and we're going to go ahead and saturate them in a little bit of oil and mix that around because it's going to help keep the rubber bands from snagging and pulling on our hair. So I already have a section parted out. I'm going to take some Hicks Edge Control and I use this one on my actual root of my hair because it doesn't turn my hair white and I don't, I hate when my, like my hair is white, I hate it. So I'm going to just put this all around the part because it's going to make it look a little bit more clean and a little bit more neat. And I'm going to do it on the front of the part, the back of the part, side of the part, all around the part because we want the part to look really, really clean. And then I like to twist it in a motion and I do that because twisting it helps keep the hair together until you can get the rubber band around the hair. Then I just take one of the rubber bands that we use in the oil and I wrap it around a few times. You don't want to do this too tight because you don't want it to be uncomfortable. You just want to do it enough so the hair is secure. Once that's done, I go ahead and I stick the crochet needle underneath the rubber band with the cap open and I slide it down so that way it doesn't get hooked onto any of the other hair. And then I take three pieces to get the size that I have, the size twist that I have. I use three pieces of the Zuri hair and then you put them together and you just kind of fluff them out with your fingers. Just comb through them because the more fluffier that the braids are, the more fluffy the twist will be. And then I just take a little edge control and I put it on the center and twist it around. So when I go to put it on the hook, the hair is all together and nothing gets caught or snagged. So I just put it on the hook and then I lock it and I pull it through to the other side. And then I get my other hand, take the hook out and pull one side through. So I turn a one strand into a two strand. And then I just pull this other braid I'm sorry this other piece of hair through so now it is into three pieces so I have two pieces of fake hair and my real hair in the middle and then I'm going to take my hair and the fake hair and start braiding into a three strand braid you do this so the hair doesn't slip out of your head you just want to braid it down a couple times I normally do like three to five times just depending on what part of my head I'm in when I'm doing the shorter parts of my hair, I do it like maybe three times. And when I'm doing longer parts of my hair, I do it maybe three to five times. So I want to take that and after I finish braiding it down, I want to take my piece of real hair and turn it into a two strand twist with one of the fake pieces of hair. And then you just twist all the way down. And while I'm twisting my hair down, I'm going in and I'm grabbing edge control because this is going to help keep my hair inside of the twist and I'm making sure that I didn't use anything that is too watery because my hair will revert back to its natural curly pattern. I want it to be as stretched as possible so the style can remain looking new. So I twist all the way until I get to the end and then I grab a rubber band. It doesn't have to have the oil on it. I just grab a regular rubber band and I put it on the end of the hair because 
Since we cut the hair in half, it is a little bit more blunt on the ends and it won't stay, it will unravel if you don't secure it with something. So I'm using a rubber band to secure it and I wrap that around a few times, just enough so it's tight enough um, and it doesn't come loose. So now I'm gonna take some scissors and just go ahead and cut off that excess so there's no stringy pieces. And I cut it right underneath the rubber band. Not cutting the rubber band, just the right underneath. I'm gonna show you again. So I just take some edge control and I lay down the parting so everything is neat and in place. I twist it around a few times, put the rubber band on and just wrap it around a few times, not too tight because we don't want to irritate our scalp or cause any like breakage on the root of our hair. We don't want to do that. This is a protective style. So you want to make sure you're protecting your hair. And then I loosen it just a little bit so the needle can get through the underneath the rubber band. And again, I point it downward so it doesn't snag any of the other hair that I've already done. I take three pieces of the Zuri hair and I start to fluff it out with my fingers. This is gonna help give us a juicy, fluffy twist. Then I take some edge control on the center of the hair just to secure it so when we put it through the needle, nothing gets snagged. With the needle pointing downward, I just go ahead and make sure you guys can see the hook and I slide the hair downward, I lock it, and then I just pull it through to the other side. So then I take the hook out, and once I get the hook out, I just use my thumb to pull the other piece of hair to the opposite side. So that way, we have three strands of hair now. And then I just go ahead and line them up Make sure they're even. We're going to cut them anyway, but you want to make sure they're even enough until you get down to where you're going to cut it. So your natural hair should be in the center of your head or in the center of the braid. And then we're just going to go in and we're going to tighten up this section just a little bit so it's more secure. Not too tight so that it hurts, just enough so that it's secure and it's not sliding all over the place. And then I'm going to proceed to braid this a few times. So I'm taking one piece of hair. And then I'm taking my middle piece, which is my natural hair, and I'm going to begin to three strand braid my hair, just a regular braid, to help secure that the twist won't slip out of my head. And I do this three to five times, just depending on what part of my head that I'm in. I think I did this side like, th like four to five times, I think. And once you do that, you wanna take it and turn it into a two strand twist. So you wanna pick a side, and you want to grab your natural hair and bring it to one side and then proceed to twist down. Take a little bit of edge control and begin to twist. And I do this for every twist so that my hair is secure inside of the twist. So now that we got the braid twisted all the way down, we're just going to go ahead and secure the ends yet again to make sure that it doesn't come loose and it lasts. Just wrap it around a few times until you're comfortable with it. And then go in with the scissors and cut off the end. Okay, so now that I showed you guys how I do my twist, I'm going to show you how I style it. So. I'll um, I normally just do two pieces out in the front. So I just take the two pieces that are in the front, I take them out, and then I do a half up, half down. So I just grab from like ear to ear, and I pull out what I don't think I need inside of the actual little ponytail that we're gonna have, and tie it around. I just do one time. And then I take one of the braids from the back of the ponytail, or two. And then I just wrap it around the scrunchy part. You can twist it if you want. And then tuck it through the back of the ponytail. All good. It's all the scam. It's just a lot of tucking. And then just make sure you can't see the scrunchy. 
or if you don't mind the scrunchie showing you could do it like that but this is normally what i do and then run into some baby hairs real quick because jade is nobody without her baby hairs and i use the wet line wet line i use the wet line extreme gel and just like a little edge brush you can flip these back until you get done So once I get my hair styled and I have like my baby hairs and stuff done, I just take this little foam that I got from Walmart and I do a few pumps in my hand. I'm almost out, so bear with me. And I just take some and I just literally put it on all of the twist and rub it through my hair. This will help mold the twist and keep your hair inside and get rid of any flyaways that you might have. I gotta buy more mousse because we're, oh, there we go. Ooh, okay show out then take it and then apply it to the rest of my twist all right guys so that is how i did my short passion twist i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up for more hair tutorials don't forget to click the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video